Welcome back. We are on day 10 of our devotional Christmas. The King has come and we are so close to being done. We have two more days left after this. But when I tell you that I read today's devotion and I ran to go (laughs) make something and record it and have it done for you guys earlier than usual today, um, I was so excited. Were you guys excited by what you read today? Did you ever watch the movie Braveheart when they are assembled as an army and they're up on the hill and they're like, I don't remember, what does he say? Like, tonight we ride or something like that. Anyways, that's what I pictured with the army of angels. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? Ah. And it was the army of the great king to proclaim his greatness. Not only were they proclaiming his greatness, but now they were showing us that his peace was now available to all. What was once unattainable. And the thing is, you could live your life as righteous as you want and you could do all of the right things, but we were never going to be close enough to get to God. That's why the Israelites had to perform sacrifices and all the different rituals was because we were not worthy as a human race. And now God not only sent his son, but he's also giving us all the peace. And all you have to do is accept it. The other part that just like stuck to my bones, it gave me goosebumps from my head to my toes, was that it claimed that we have the authority the authority. When you think of authority, you think of like, that's the final step, right? That's the whoever's in charge is allowing you something. It's a big deal. And now we have the authority to be called his children. Ah, so awesome. We serve such an amazing God, don't we? Like what a gift, what a gift. So no matter what with this Christmas, I hope that you embrace this gift and that you see it for the treasure that it is. And of course, the best part of this gift is that it comes to you free. And all you need to do is repent and proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord and give your life over to him and you will forever walk in his peace. I pray that his peace surrounds you today, that it gives you comfort and joy, and that you just lean on him and not on your own understanding, and in always acknowledge and praise him. I will see you tomorrow.